if you have one of these refrigerant leak detector I bought this from Amazon uh, so I don't use it very often uh, once in a while and it does come with one year warranty I probably had used it two times uh, last year and then uh, this year when I took it out it turned on and then suddenly it just stopped working uh, so I being a mechanic I like you know dismantling stuff and see what's going wrong with it and I took this apart uh, so these it came like these four screws came out of it two goes in the top these are the slot one and two and then two smaller ones uh, goes in the bottom one and two and just pry it off and there you go it gets open and you will see let me try to zoom in a little bit when you are it's kind of tough to hold the camera and do it but when you are uh, rotating this regulator or lever uh, it kinds of t takes this um, little thing off and it's all spring loaded so you can see a sp little spring there uh, so once these two metal joints together that's when the system turns on and when I turn the regulator off it kinds of obstruct that metal to join from the other to complete the circuit so why it was not turning on is the spring tension kind of I think diminished over time and when I was turning it on this metal piece was not touching the other metal piece and it was not turning on so <clears throat> what all I did is uh, let me show you I kind of uh, let me, there you go right there I I just pried this piece a little bit towards the other metal here and because I didn't touch anything this way and I also pried this piece a little bit on the other side so it's kind of complementing the spring tension and now when I do this it just goes right in the position and completes the circuit and the system turns on uh, that's all uh, just an informational video rather than throwing away this piece if you are having the same problem why not give it a shot you might have the same issue going on thank you